All right. The next topic is derivative of arc length. Right. Normally, uh, you see that the there will be uh, a curve given and we can try to find the uh, tangent the normal distance of uh, the normal distance to the tangent etc we have seen already all right in the next uh, concept what we are trying to look here is that we always try to find the derivative of the arc length for example we have three types of uh, representation possible so first one could be the cartesian This is a Cartesian curve. So, how do you write a Cartesian curve? This will be in the following notation y is equal to a function of x. If you have something like this, then we try to represent it in the following fashion. The derivative will be ds by dx. Derivative of arc length. Arc length is yes with respect to x okay ds by dx is equal to this will be square root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square okay this is the first format right then the second option is you can try to write the sine sine psi so psi angle we already have denoted when we started the chapter Right, this is nothing but the dy by ds. Okay, at the same time, if you want to represent the cos cosine value of the angle psi, this should be dx by ds. You can also calculate the tan, these are the formulae. Okay, you just have to remember the formulae, right? Whenever it is related to the uh, derivative of arc length in Cartesian coordinate, tan psi is equal to simply dy by dx right these are the formulae we are going to use when we are trying to solve the problem in the cartesian format then we have the second format that is called as parametric format okay parametric format so, how to write a parametric format? Parametric format will be, you have x is a function of time. Okay, x is equal to something like x of t and y is equal to, this could be something like y of t. Right, t is the parameter. x is a function of time, y is also a function of time. So, y, is, will, be, y will be represented in terms of x and t. In that case, the derivative of arc length is ds by dt this is equal to square root of dx by dt the whole square plus dy by dt the whole square okay this is the second format which we will be solving problems on now and uh, after this now let's go to the next the third format this is the polar format So, how to write a polar format? We know that this is r is a function of theta. Right? Here, we have three basic equations to remember. The first one is ds by d theta. This is equal to square root of r square plus the dr by d theta the whole square. This is the basic form format or form formula for the derivative of arc length in the polar format or for polar curves in addition to this we need the following formula one is the sin phi so sin phi is equal to r d theta by ds okay then we also might require the cos phi form cos phi is equal to this is dr by ds right so using all of them we can 
try to calculate the required uh, derivative of arc length depending upon which problem they have given okay we just have to understand whether the given problem is type 1 type 2 or type 3 okay all right let's solve some of the problems based on this concept okay that is to find the derivative of arc length okay this is the question if y is equal to this is a times log of secant of x by a then show that part a of the question ds by dx this is s okay ds by dx is equal to secant x by e is the first question then part b of the question ds by dy is equal to this is cosecant of x by e and part c of the question the angle psi is equal to x by e okay now i need to understand that what type of question it is it, is it type 1 type 2 or type 3 so type 1 is simply the function y is a if you have a y and it is equal to a function of x then this becomes type 1 now you can see that y and x i have i don't have it another variable t coming up so this is not type 2 not type 3 type 1 so write all the equations required from type a right because from type a i understand that these are the formula if you want to find ds by dx root of 1 by dy by dx the whole square right i need to find dy by dx then substitute here to get the ds by dx so that's what is the equation show that ds by dx is equal to something similarly calculate dy by ds by dy and we need to show that this is the answer okay and uh, value of psi can also be calculated in the same fashion okay let's proceed with the solution so start with the given equation they have mentioned that x is equal to a times log of this is a secant of x by a okay so if, so if this is given first you try to take the differentiation what is dy by dx all right so dy by dx is equal to it's a as it is log is there so log means 1 divided by secant of x by a into i should write the differentiation of secant of x by a so secant will give you secant x into tan x so this is secant of x by a into the tan of x by a into differentiation of x by a is 1 by a all right so this a will cancels with this a we have secant a cancelling with secant a so the dy by dx is equal to tan function tan of x by a okay so this is dy by dx so if you look at the equations of type 1 we can understand that i can calculate the therefore the derivative of arc length this is dx ds by dx is equal to root of 1 plus dy by dx the whole square just now i have written these equations in the first part when we discussed first okay so this is equal to under root 1 plus dy by dx is tan so this is tan square of x by a okay we have one uh, rule in trigonometry that is if you are able to write 1 plus tan square theta this is equal to secant square theta Right? So, this is the fundamental equation that we are going to use now here. So, 
So that means this implies ds by dx is equal to under root 1 plus tan square theta is the root of secant square theta. Secant square, but in this case theta is x by e. So this is root and square will cancel. Simply you get secant of x by e. So this is what has asked, has been asked and we solved it. That's the ds by dx. Now the next part of the question is to show that the second one. Alright, the second part is ds by dy. So how do you calculate ds by dy? If you look at the equation, the equations are straightforward. 1 plus this is dx by dy the whole square. Right. So I know that dy by dx is tan theta. So dx by dy will become 1 by tan. 1 by tan is a cot function. Correct. So this is under root 1 plus this is cot square of x by a. So what is 1 plus cot square function? Right. Once again, let us use the trigonometry now. So if you know from basics, we can write 1 plus cot square theta is equal to this is cosecant cosecant square theta so this is the trigonometric identity we can use in this case so therefore this is equal to i have ds by dy is equal to square root of cosecant square of x by a. So root and square will cancel. You get an answer cosecant x by a which is the proof. Alright, then let's go to the third part of the question. We need to find the psi but we know something already. Right, so that is we know that what is the tan of this psi angle. Tan psi is nothing but dy by dx. Correct? So, what is dy by dx? If you check the equation, dy by dx is tan of x by e. So, we write tan psi is equal to dy by dx. You can check just now we got this is equal to x by e. So, tan tan cancel. So, psi becomes equal to x by a. This is the required answer. Alright, so very simple. Uh, just remember the equations and we can find out the required answers. Alright, now let's move on to the question number two. Okay, if x to the power 2 by 3 plus y to the power 2 by 3 is equal to let us say a to the power 2 by 3 then show that show that ds by dx is equal to a by x to the power 1 by 3. Okay, so this is the next part of the question. So let's start with the given data, right? That is, they have already mentioned that x to the power 2 by 3 plus y to the power 2 by 3 is equal to a to the power 2 by 3. Right? So now let us differentiate. Differentiate with respect to x. So x to the power n is nothing but n into x to the power n minus 1. Correct? So that is 2 by 3 x to the power n minus 1. n minus 1 will be 2 by 3 minus 1. This is the power. Okay? Plus we have function of y. So this is y to the n is also 2 by 3 y to the power 
2 by 3 minus 1. But since y is a function of x, I need to multiply this by uh, dy by dx. So I will multiply this now by dy by dx. And the right hand side is a constant, so differentiation gives you answer equal to 0. Alright, so let us try to simplify this further now. So this means we have 2 by 3 into x to the power. See, there is a, let's do the calculation here. 2 by 3 minus 1 is nothing but, so 3 goes to this side. This is 2 minus 3 by 3, which is equal to minus 1 by 3. So what happens to the powers? Powers will be minus 1 by 3 plus this is once again 2 by 3 y to the power minus 1 by 3 dy by dx equal to 0 okay so powers have been simplified like this now what i do i'll take the x term to the other side that means 2 by 3 y to the minus 1 by 3 dy by dx is equal to minus of 2 by 3 x to the power minus 1 by 3. So you can see that the constants are same on both sides. I can cancel them. Okay. Now this means I can actually calculate the dy by dx like this. What is dy by dx? dy by dx is equal to minus of x to the power minus 1 by 3 divided by the y will go to the other side y it's a multiplication so on the other side it will be a division so this is y to the power minus 1 by 3 okay so in order to cancel the negative powers what i do here i'll bring y to the numerator and x to the denominator when y goes to the numerator y becomes y to the power plus 1 by 3 and x to the minus 1 by 3 when goes when this goes to the denominator, it becomes positive power. So this is x to the power plus 1 by 3. Alright, so dy by dx is equal to this term. Okay, now they are asking us to prove something which is ds by dx. Alright, so we'll, we'll start with that now. Therefore, if you want to find what is ds by dx, our standard equation is going to be root of 1 plus this is dy by dx the whole square just now we have seen this part so let us substitute so this is equal to under square root this is 1 plus find dy by dx what is dy by dx that is minus y to the 1 by 3 divided by x to the power 1 by 3 this is dy by dx whole square Okay, so in the next step, this is equal to under root 1 plus, so minus of minus into minus is plus, so 2 times you are multiplying, negative will get cancelled. This is y to the power 2 by 3 by x to the power 2 by 3. Alright, now let's take the common denominator to this term so that is square root of p 1 can be written as x to the power 2 by 3 plus y to the power 2 by 3 whole divided by x to the power 2 by 3 so that's that's what is 1 here 1 can be written as x to the 2 by 3 by x to the 2 by 3 right now since you have taken the common denominator now let us compare this so what is this term let us try to evaluate Let's try to substitute something for this from what is given. So if you see x to the 2 by 3 plus y to the 2 by 3 is nothing but a to the 2 by 3. Already this can be seen here. This is what they have given. Correct? So I'll simply replace that. So this can be replaced simply as a to the power 2 by 3 from the given data. So what I do now? Next I'll do. I'll substitute. So this is under root a to the 2 by 3 all divided by this is x to the 2 by 3 
right now we see the simplification happens in this fashion this can be written as under root see this is a to the 1 by 3 by x to the 1 by 3 there is a square term i'll write a square term outside now what's the use of this i can simply can cancel the square and this square root so when that happens on the left hand side i still have the required ds by dx ds by dx is equal to a to the 1 by 3 divided by x to the 1 by 3 i can since the powers are same i can i can write the power outside so this is a by x to the power 1 by 3 that is the required proof okay we can just go back and check so they, they have asked that show that ds by dx is equal to a by x to the power 1 by 3 so we got that answer now. Okay, moving ahead to the next question. If y is equal to a into log of this is a square divided by a square minus x square right then show that ds by dx is equal to a square plus x square divided by a square minus x square Okay, now let us try to simplify and get this answer. So we start with the y. So they have given y is equal to a into this is log of a squared minus uh, sorry divided by a squared minus x squared. So since this is a log function, I can actually expand this. This is a into, first you can get log a square. Next you get, since the denominator is going to be a negative log, this is minus log of a square minus x square. All right. So this can be written as a into log a square minus a into log of a square minus x square minus a into log of a square minus x square okay so this is nothing but the given y so in order to find the ds by dx my first step should be finding out the dy by dx therefore first you find what is dy by dx dy by dx is equal to first term is a constant so that becomes zero then minus a into log of something is one divided by that so this is a square minus x square going to denominator into differentiation of a square minus x square is minus 2x right so this can be further simplified as follows that is dy by dx is equal to minus of minus is plus so numerator becomes 2 a x divided by a square minus x square this is dy by dx so when i know what is the dy by dx i can find the ds by dx therefore derivative of the arc length that is ds by dx is equal to what's the equation this is the equation 1 plus dy by dx the whole square okay so this means this is equal to under root 1 plus the 2ax divided by a square minus x square this term the whole square okay now let us simplify this this is equal to under root right this is 1 plus 2ax 
whole square becomes 4 times a square x square divided by this is a square minus x square the whole square okay now let me take a common denominator now so this is equal to under root a square minus x square the whole square because i'm taking a common denominator i'm replacing one by its equivalent term so plus four a square x square whole divided by a square minus x square the whole square all right now let us expand this this is equal to under root yes this the, the term should look like this is a a minus b whole square we have a minus b the whole square that formula i'm applying now so it's a square already there's a square it becomes power 4 a to the power 4 plus the second term square so that is x square square so x to the power 4 minus 2 into the product of first and second term 2a square x square then i have after that there is a 4x a square x square we'll write that this is plus 4a square x square whole divided by this is a square minus x square the whole square denominator as it is no change then this should be equal to now square root of the first term becomes a square plus x square see minus 2a square x square plus a 4 e will give you plus 2a square x square whole divided by this is a square minus x square the whole square okay in the next step i can see that the first numerator is a perfect square so this numerator can be simply written as a square plus x square the whole square denominator a square minus x square the whole square now it's very clear this squares can be cancelled with the square root so what remains you can simply write down so that is equal to a square plus the x square divided by a square minus x square so on the left hand side i am still left with the ds by dx right this is what they have asked us to prove all right so all these problems we have solved so far were belonging to the type one of the equations right now let's move on to a different type of question